Hello, P5 students. Welcome again to this another video of our Math 5 class. Welcome to Chapter 13. In this video, you will learn three topics. It talks about operations on fractions and decimals. So from the last chapter, you have learned about fractions, decimals, and percentage. So in this video, you will learn the different operations such as adding and subtracting fractions, multiplying and dividing unit fractions by whole numbers. Okay, P5, are you ready to learn these new topics? Come on, let's start. I have here a picture. Take a look, children. They are in a cafe or in a shop. They are going to buy some tarts or cake. So look at children, the prices of each slice of the pies or the cakes and the tarts. During our class, let's discuss about the amount that each child will spend on each item that they want to buy. Let's continue. Let's start with lesson A. We have adding and subtracting related fractions. Look at this picture. Ralph has one quarter of a sushi roll. IZ has one quarter of the sushi roll. What fraction of the sushi roll do they have all together? So it means to say we are going to add one quarter plus one quarter. So the answer, children, is yes. If you know the answer, you can share that during our class. Okay, let's continue. I have here a problem. How much cake is left? Has both three similar cakes for a party. This diagram shows how much cake is left after the party. Let's estimate the fraction of each cake left. So the estimated fraction of each cake left is for cake A is only one quarter, for cake B is only one eighth, and cake C is only three quarters. I have here another problem B5. Let's check. How much fruit tart do they eat all together? Take a look. GAE eats one eighth of a fruit tart. Raj eats three quarters of the fruit tart. So how much of the fruit tart do they eat all together? Take a look. So Gia, one eighth. Raj, three quarters. So if we are going to add them all together, what have you observed, children? One eighth, this one, one part here. Let's have this one, this part. This is one eighth, this part here. Three quarters is this one. This, so three quarters is actually is equal to six eighths. So we just simply add one eighth plus six eighths is equal to seven eighths. So they eat seven eighths of the fruit charts all together. So as you observe children, one eighth and three quarters of different denominators. So if we, want, if we want to add numbers or fractions with different denominators, we simply convert them to similar fractions or fractions with the same denominators. I have here another problem. We have has one half of a chocolate bar. Lana has one eighth of a chocolate bar. How much more chocolate bar does we have 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 than Lana? So we are going to subtract. We have is one half. Lana is one eighth. So how many one eighths are there in one half? As we observe, in one half there are four one eighths. So one half is actually equal to four eighths. So we just simply subtract 4, 8 minus 1, 8, and that is 3, 8. So therefore, we have has 3, 8 of so a chocolate bar more than Lana. So again, in subtracting fractions, make sure that both fractions have, this in, have similar denominators. Let's continue, children. I have another problem here. Wayne and his friend both two similar pizzas. Wayne ate one-third of one pizza. His friend ate five-sixths of another pizza. So what fraction of a pizza did they eat altogether? So let's add one-third plus five-sixths. 
So we have one third. So in a whole, if we have one third, it is actually equal to two thirds, right? Or two, two six. So two six plus five six is equal to seven six. Okay, so this is an improper fraction. We can change this into a mixed number. This is one and one six. So both of them, the eight, one and one six, or seven six of pizza all together. Okay, let's have lesson B, multiplying unit fractions by a whole number. So how to multiply a fraction by a whole number? This is easy P5. This is simple. Take a look here. There is one egg on each plate. So how many eggs are there all together? So take a look. So how many eggs are there? Yeah, there are three eggs. Okay, there is one half an egg on its split. What if, if our egg now becomes one half and its split have, has one half of that egg? So how many eggs are there all together? So if you have one half on this plate and you have one half on this plate and one half, the total would be, you add the one half and one half, there is one whole and we have another one half so that is three that is one and one half right or three halves let's continue i have here a problem ron puts the pies from the three plates on one single plate so how much of a pie does he have take a look one quarter times three equals three quarters so we have here this is a one quarter. So if we multiply one quarter into three, if you have three slices of one quarter, if we will combine them all together, that is equal to three quarters. So one quarter times three is the same as one quarter plus one quarter plus one quarter equals three quarters. So he estimates that there is about one quarter of a pie on its of the three plates. So he has about three quarters of a pie altogether. Another, there are seven similar pieces of cloth. Each student gets one fifth of it of the pieces of cloth. So what fraction of the piece of cloth do the students receive altogether? So we have one fifth. So how many one fifth are there? There are seven one fifth. So if we will combine all together, we can get seven fifths. So the students receive seven fifths of the piece of cloth all together, or we have one and two fifths. So that is if we are going to change to mixed number. Another, let's move on to dividing unit fractions by a whole numbers. I have here a problem, children. Take a look. A loaf of bread is shared between two children. Okay, one whole shared by uh, two children. So what fraction of the loaf of bread does each child get? Yes, if we are going to cut this, each child will get one half. So one half for, this, for the girl, one half for the boy. If that is only, if we have only one loaf of bread. Okay. One fourth of the loaf of bread is shared between two children. Now, what if we have only one fourth left of the whole bread and it will be shared by two children? So each child will get how much? It means we are going to divide one quarter divided by two children. So this is one quarter, this part. If we are going to cut them into two equals, yes, it becomes one eighth. It means the whole was divided into eight parts and it will become one eighth. Okay, children. So one quarter shared by two or divided by two is one eighth. I have here a problem. Take a look. IZ wants to share some pizza equally with Rob. She estimates that she has about one half of a pizza. This part here is one half of the whole pizza. And they are going to share, both of them. So therefore, if we are going to cut the one half, it becomes one quarter. So one half divided by two is one quarter. 
Okay? So, both, each of them will get one fourth or one quarter of a pizza. Another problem, children, take a look. Timing had one half a snack, snack bar. It is shared equally among four people. So, what fraction of the snack bar did each person get? So, we have one half and we are going to share that among four people. So, this is the one whole, right? We should divide it into two. So, we have one half. So, this part here is one half. The other part is one half. The one half is shared by four. So, one, two, three, four. Therefore, each part becomes one eighth. So, one half children divided by four is one eighth. So, each child or each person gets one eighth of the snack bar. Okay, children. So, again, each child will get one eighth of the snack bar. So, that's how to divide a fraction or a unit fraction by a whole number. Okay, P5 on our class. I will discuss more about this lesson. Okay. So, that's all about chapter 13, lesson 1, 2, and 3 about adding and subtracting fractions, multiplying and dividing unit fractions by a whole number. So, P5, thank you for watching in this video and I hope that you learned a lot. I will share more uh, of this lesson during our class. Thank you for watching again and always remember to stay safe and healthy. God bless everyone and enjoy the rest of the day.